I'm adventuring. White pine's trees are white pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like I read too slowly. <laughs> Looks like I read too slowly. So if I walk slowly, I'll actually get those other interaction points though. I need to catch that as I go. There's stuff on this side though. Oh, we're going. Where? We are going. Uh, you're the right stuff, Measurehead. Fuck you, Measurehead! <laughs> Didn't stop me. What does this thing do? I guess I'll check in a sec. Hold on, let's go to the yellow one. I don't know, I'm just pressing buttons here, man. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I'll do that. And then let's go here. It's a big puzzle with this grain thing. You see faded industrial lettering in the plat. Means whale fjord in Arden, Ardan. No. When I decided to have it, but okay. Let's fuck around with this thing and find out. A rusted control it. panel with go. several knobs. Two buttons marked Marsh and Aret are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A is. container is attached to its hook block. Marsh. On. Aret. Off. I don't think it's just... I don't know what this is for. I'm gonna leave this alone before I move anything and compromise something. Maybe I need it to like... I step into this and maybe it takes us somewhere. I, look, I don't know right now, but let me just finish exploring before I fuck something up. And I, I can't reverse course. Money! Stop, 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 stop. The shipyard ahead is all the quiet. The great machines are sleeping. Well, then they won't notice me the money. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to the 20 now, baby. The speaker tower is silent. There is no work organized. Yeah, all right. Barely noticeable with the uh, the highlight, the uh, outline, you know? The musk of oil and rust comes from the chasm in front of you. Smells like blood. What the hell did I do? I'm not seeing anything happening though. Well, Alright. Let's take this person's money. As soon as green is gone, everything. Okay, there's another fuck tab. Goddamn. Industrial sized thermo smells like burnt coffee. Let's grab these right here. Oh my god, yes. Hell oh, yeah. There we go. We are at 1583. That feels like some. Oh, two person up here though. Oh, he's the. Uh, oh. You spying on me, bitch. Container, container, I'll oh, turn you no nice way. and red. Container, container, put the logos on. The no, lyrics to this not. container song are being made up as he goes along. <laughs> the accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisunt on Muindi. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. <laughs> the tiny man is so engaged in his work, he doesn't notice you. Do not disturb the little man in his joyous activity. Leave. Hi! Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? The look in his deep blue eyes is as sincere as you've ever seen. I like him already. Kind of makes you feel like an arsehole for no apparent reason. <laughs> his blue eyes. I see you are not a union them. man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? Shadow passes over his kind face. What is it with you people and scabs? Actually, I am. No. I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for you to respond. Just some Dancer. of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. You're Ubi, right? Oh, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. <sighs> Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Ah, oh, 
What are you doing on the containers? Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. Okay. He waves at the containers tower behind him. And then we have a look at the mountains of containers right behind him. 29, but I mean, I've done worse. Everything is so pretty in red. You wow, and Leo look red is like so much prettier than Drabble Green. glance around with similar childlike wonder. I have that didn't keep the amazement to yourself. No, no. I'll sure is, mister. Sure just say is. something. I might as well really say something. Really livens up the place. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I had to break this bonding moment. But the red containers mean they are replacing the company livery with the union livery. Oh. Which means this strike isn't going to yeah. stop anytime soon. Okay. Where is everyone? The harbor is empty. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates. Keeping the scabs from coming in. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! <laughs> we haven't worked for two months now. So no one is working? No. <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Oh. Mr. Everard is in his office, where he always is. And Jean-Luc is guarding the gate. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble and Everard sent them on a nice vacation. Oh. For a week or so. He saw what seems... Eager to tell you more. What trouble did Titus and his friends get into? Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. Come on, we're That's friends, we're buddies. Business. Him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. Hmm. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. Don't go all bad cop on this simple, friendly fellow. I'm not going bad cop, I'm being his buddy. But what did they actually do? Can't help me out here. No, 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 don't be, be cool, be cool. Really? Did they kill someone? Oh shit. I already know though. What do they actually do? I have another. Oh, fine. I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had go. to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. Well, that's just how boys are, you know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hearties. <laughs> Damn. Too rowdy? Leo, what kind of fight did they get into? Did they kill a mercenary? Oh shit. Okay, Leo. Let's hear about the fight you got into. I mean, do I just say it straight up? I could say it straight up. Fuck it. Too late. Leo's mouth is still moving, and the words are spewing forth. Words, words, and look, even more words. This guy could go on till the end of days. Now he's talking about some drunk sawmill owner oh, no. who... <laughs> so no, the... he already switched to a prized fishing rod he's changing he apparently the topic. owned at some point. <laughs> you know what? Just cut in there with your questions. Okay, uh, what's in the container over there? Points of the container suspended for the crane arm. Oh, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. Hmm. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Do you work here? Yes, yes. Okay. Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. I'm Leonard, by the way. Leonard Bellick. But everyone calls me Leo. Welcome I'm like Mr. Street. Everett's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town, and Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. What? Everett is away. <laughs> ah, what the <laughs> hell's Actually, going on? Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Miss Beaufort? Who is this Miss Beaufort? A real new. pretty lady with a skin like those Douay Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. They're my real nice to suckle on once the dinner is, is done cool and me and the bar? missus sit down beside the radio. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. Wait a There's minute. so much to do around here and I'm Wait always busy minute. keeping things running here. Yes I am, yes I am. Stay on this Miss Beaufort topic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's this Miss Beaufort you oh, mentioned? Oh, Lizzie. She is a real sharp Lizzie. tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east mm. of the river. Mm. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. Mm. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody uh, and gets uh, along with everyone. Real pillar of the community yeah. one day, I'm sure. For a fraction of a second, there's sadness in his eyes. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Oh. Doctor Lemaitre said so. And she knows Another about name. such things. Oh, God. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. He sighs and falls silent, watching 
you meekly with his blue, blue eyes. I'm attracted to them. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job around here, Leo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place would totally fall apart and all that. Uh, hold on. If you didn't shine the boss man's shoes, Leo. Oh, no, hold on. Let's go. You're doing a great yes, job, Leo. This place really seems to run like clockwork. Keep it up, Leo. Look at that. Well, thanks a lot. Coming advising. from you, it means a lot. You really. See? It's just so... It's just so Sometimes deep. I feel some of the guys don't really get how much I bust my ass for them here. Oh, that's but not you kind. guys are all right. Thank the you. The white rectangle on your clothes might not mean an awful lot in Martinez, but the recognition from an authority figure authority. made Leo's day. That's not even in quotes. I'm looking for the leader of the dock. Oh, you want Mr. Everard then? Everard. He's an or awfully Edgar. nice fellow. He's he an Edgar too. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. Oh, his brother's Edgar. They've lived their entire lives in this here neighborhood. Not maybe, almost definitely. Guys like Mr. Ever and Mr. Go. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. <laughs> Just confirm for me. Okay, there we go. Today. Mr. Ever and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we oh. were boys. Okay, easy now, Leo. I just want to know where I can find oh, this man. Oh, Mr. Evra is where he always is. His In his office, of course. Points the two large containers to, the, to your right. Okay, so we are going through there, right here. The fuck? His office is in a container? Bye bye Wait. now. Damn, what? Okay, we'll find out. The banner sags under the weight of the rain and snow. I'm walking through. Let's walk through. Maybe this takes us down somewhere. Okay. That's strange. You're off. I mean, why not? I suppose. The coffee and the giant thermos is the warm. Okay. Oh, this one right here. Oh, yeah. No, it definitely looks like an office. A stair made of pallets. This is uh, an, a strange way to have an office. Okay. I'm sure they won't just pick this up and transport it. A taxidermy fish that tells time. Amazing. Before you is a walrus of a man seated <laughs> behind a large desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. With great effort, he straightens <laughs> himself up it's in great. his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. With a mixture of That's expectation creepy. and impatience, well bottled. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> Are you in charge of the dock workers? Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's oh. good of you two to stop by. Dubois? Please, have Excuse a seat. Me? I'm not Dubois. I'm I'm Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. I'm Everard, Everard Claire, head of the Dubardes Union here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? He I looks don't. extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. Where's, where's the tiny... Is it the thing I'm looking at right here? Because I can't tell if that's... I think that's a chair. You go ahead, detective. Okay, Whatever yes. he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. Forget oh, about geez, that. Goes. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. <laughs> Why are you calling me Mr. Dubois? Please, Mr. Dubois. Let us converse in a civilized manner, as equals. I am Take trying to... I insist. God damn it. It's nothing. Yes, that's probably right. <laughs> it's nothing. It. Forget Don't... about it. Filter it out. No. He's dead. He's the past. I don't sit. It's kind of my thing. Are we doing this? Actually, I was just leaving. Take a seat. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're it's a reasonable a man, and reasonable men... Reasonable men can be of great use to one another. For me, serious. Try to wince back. Try to wink back. Try to wink back. Oh, he gives you a sly wink. Try to wink back. It's just you could take so many odd responses, but this makes it funny, man. Damn, this chair is uncomfortable. Try to wink back. So okay. tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia to- The chair you're sitting on has got to be the God most comfortable chair it. in the world. God damn it's it. violating damn it, your backside. Don't give me a heart attack because of a fucking chair, man. Oh, uh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners, it pains me to say. This should take care what? of that nonsense. What's this guy? 
He points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comical. It huge. should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days what? and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. What do you hide? Go ahead. Take it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wow. That's 25 real. Oh, that's that's one, good nine. money. Oh. You need it. What's the trick? Wait, you don't guard? Yeah, yes, on. I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like What's you're going on game here? You bribing me? At for... least don't Are you gonna cover it. some? Oh shit! At least don't thank him for it. Thank you for <laughs> take the comically large check. It's not comically large. Take the comically large check, but don't say anything. Keep it. I'm good. Leave the check. You can take the comically large check and shove it up your ass. No, I'm. I'm probably going to take because I don't know what this is for but I'm going to take it I'm just not going to thank him for it because drama told me not to yeah fuck this guy is there anything you'd like to say to me or wait I didn't get any money for that my money didn't go up no what do you mean no oh that was a bribe motherfucker was that a bribe Kim, you want to help me out here, bro? I'm kind of confused. I don't know how to take this, man. No. <laughs> Volition tells me no. No, it's cool. You've got integrity. What? Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Oh, I see. Just Volition's telling me don't do it. Hold your ground. No, it's cool. Cool? I wouldn't go that far. I almost fucked up I'm on sure the interpretation there. I'm sure there are cooler there. things than delivering a comically oversized novelty check <laughs> to a cafeteria manager. But... Sure, if that's what's cool nowadays. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. What? I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. The f what? His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. <laughs> lost gun. Lost it's gun. It's my gun. Lost gun. It's my gun. The world is swallowed by a oh, black hole. I'm gonna of die in here. I'm gonna die in Only here. Help! Two words Kim, help! It's gravitational pull. Lost help, help. and gun. How do you know about my lost gun? I'm not worried. I got this. I would appreciate any help you could provide. I'm not worried. I got this. How do you know about my lost gun? I know everything, Harry. Right now, I know not that you're worried. Don't be worried. Everything's going to be all right. Please don't take physical damage. I can take my I can take my charge right now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Would I save? Nowhere near here. Nowhere near here. It's not like you let's left go, it let's go, loaded. Let's go. You I didn't lose a loaded gun. Local <laughs> children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. It was loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. <sighs> I took the novelty check. Yeah. Oh no, and I'm sitting in the car. Oh, son of a bitch. I can't stand up and do this over again. Kim, um, Kim. I have to try it. I'm gonna take my damn fuck it. Who does this guy yes. think you are? Yes. Running through the, the rookie, through the pain. You ain't worried about no lost gun fuck or gun. unpaid bill or forgotten name. Yeah. You're the bad cop. Yeah. You're probably more corrupt than him. No. 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 Wait. That's it. That's my point of pride here. Sink deep into the folding chairs. Smile and cross your hands behind your back. <laughs> the fat man does the same. Sinking deeper into his chair than one would think is physically him. possible. He seems him. to be enjoying your little display. <laughs> Good. Damn it. Now lean in with some corruption. Listen, Evart, pal. We both know what makes the wheels of the world turn. That we do, Harry. Let them say what they will I about you and me. I'm We're Alan both Rose born fighters. School. This fighter could use a more comfortable chair. Nice bit with the chair, by the way. <laughs> a good way to keep your guests on edge. Why, thank you. It's always nice when a fellow professional appreciates your work. Come on now. 
That's it. Something. Now kick back. Oh, that and worked. Add a final flourish for dignity. Okay. Thanks for hospitality. Feel free to visit me down at the station anytime. This is a worm's lair, and we both know why I'm here to help grow your horde. I'm not saying I'm corrupt, I'm rational. I don't know if I like any of these, so I'm gonna go with the one that. You strike really... me as a reasonable man, Harry. <laughs> I so... like that in a law man. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? Oh what gosh. can Everard Clare do for you? I not think we'd like to chair? ask you a few questions. Don't you think so, Detective? Kim. God damn it, Kim. Somehow That's you so managed to get yourself out of this one. Now quick, keep the momentum up. Ask questions. I'm told the union is involved in the local drug trade. What? Harry, how could you say that to me? Raphael. You know I appreciate a joke as much as any Johnny Fat guy, but I can't take slander. Are you actually investigating this? I don't even know. Like, this game really fucks with you, man. I am. You've that. hurt me, Harry. Me, a friend. But you know what? I was a corrupt cop. I mean, there was a history here. But I don't know what to roll into because I don't know what I don't know. And Kim is here. I don't want to disappoint Kim. <laughs> but you know what? He I trust up. you like I trust all my friends. And I know you'll never talk to me about this again oh, because you don't want to wound me. So do what you want and let's change the subject. Thank you for your understanding. We will continue to do what we must. The lieutenant looks him in the eye. Okay, no, no. You Kim's, too, Kim's lieutenant. <laughs> you know, I like you. <laughs> Do you but know? you never were my favorite. Oh. I'm a Harry guy. I'm Team Harry. What is happening here? None taken. Do we have anything else to do here, Harry? Now you're calling me Harry? <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Cam. I've just finished investigating the local drug... I've just finished investigating the local drug trade? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Aren't you going to ask me how I got in? How I got in, how I got in. What? You called me Mr. Dubois. Why? Of course. Let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everard, I call you Harry. I see what you did. There. That's what the Hang of the Corpse called you. Harry. So that's really my name? My God, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? What are the odds of that? <laughs> I think the odds of that are very low. It's true. My memory is a bit hazy. It's the I truth. assure you, there's nothing not to be ashamed that? of, Harry. Unless I have to You're among friends, this whole and the good news is... Like an old friend that was corrupt, I suppose. Taking bribes, not looking into shit. I have a big fat folder on you, Harry. I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask. Maybe I can help you out. I'm sure you had some concerns you thought I might be able <laughs> okay. to address. And you were probably right. No, I get it. I can. God damn it. It's just a brown folder. You can't make out what's written it? on it. Just checking. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kim, Kitsuragi, Kim. would you mind? Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. Let's get this straight. What is my full name? Do you know anything about my family? Do I have a wife or kids? Family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's okay. not one peep of family in here. Unless okay. you think you're a family man. Do you okay. strike yourself as a family man, Harry? Not really. I think I do. I'd be a wonderful father. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I, I kind of don't. That's why I like you, Harry. A good man knows both his strengths and his weaknesses. And you, my friend, Aww. you are one of the all-time greats. Oh, <laughs> let's get this straight. What's my full it's name? It's Harry. Harry Dubois. You feel like a Dubois, but you don't feel like a Harry. Strange. No, very, very you strange. You don't feel like any of these things. You know That's what your failure. name is. You have a sophisticated name, Raphael. like that of a count Ambrosius or a beautiful man. Cousteau. That's not my name. My name is Raphael Cousteau. Fine, Harry. You can even be Harry Raphael Dubois de Costo, or whatever you choose to be. <laughs> God, damn. 
Gives his face. Mr. Kitsuragi doesn't seem even slightly empathetic to your it. memory loss. I Harry. can't help it. Let's I, roll it. I, however, wish to help you any way I can. What kind of cop does it say I am? Well, Harry, if I were to sum you up in one word, it would be apologetic. I'm a sorry cop, but I reject the sorry cop, and now I'm not getting any benefits for having rejected the sorry cop. That's not coming back to me. Do you understand? Do you understand, walrus man? <sighs> what? I'm not apologetic. I'm confident. Well, you sure come off as very confident in all our interactions, Harry. <laughs> You're a real man's man. He's probably just making a guess based on your recent activity. I think I'm confusing today's. the game with my inconsistencies that are amazing. Where did you get that folder? Ah, this? My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. My friends in your... The I hell? find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Out. Kitsuragi. I suspect something. I'm sure you understand. Please continue, Harry. I have no choice but to go for it. Let's do it! Everard's large Shit. hands are covering the folder. <laughs> but Shit. the look on his face says, I know everything about you, Harry. He knows everything about me. I'm sure it's not that bad. At worst, he has an old RCM folder. And I very much doubt even that. <sighs> Harry. I just know the things that matter to our this friendship, is awesome. and I want you to feel free to ask me about those things. Oh, let's talk about another matter. Of course, matters. Harry, of course. Let's not linger on personal details and amnesia. You wanted something from me. What was that check? I can try to come back here. Aren't you going to ask me about how I got in? I wanted to go over a couple of things. Uh, let's talk about my lost gun. Yes, your lost gun. My best men are on it. They're turning every stone, searching. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. It's just a matter of time and effort. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Could he really hold my gun hostage? Wait, the gun may have been bought from Roy's pawn shop. Have your men factor that in. Hmm. I will not be blackmailed. I don't care about my gun. Keep it. Does this mean if I don't... Well, I mean, I already have this Roy information, so maybe I'll ask Yes. Him. Thank you for the hot tip regarding your lost gun, Harry. My also, men Roy have indeed missing. God damn it. factored in that you pawned it. I see. Now, please, let the professionals do their job. Kick back, Harry. Relax. I have great guys on this. You focus on what's important. Building our relationship for the good of Martinez. Wow, it did geez. not come as a surprise to him. He might actually not be bullshitting. Okay. Okay. Does this mean if I do things for you, you will get my gun back? Ooh. I will not be blackmailed with this gun business. Harry, Harry. I was only trying to be tactful. I do not a like your gun bullshitting. Is a dangerous thing. I can't have it around in my neighborhood. Wow. Kids could be playing gun roulette with it as we speak. Jesus. Teenage gangs could be shit. arming themselves. Get a hold of yourself. I assure you, we are working on locating the missing sidearm as well. The That's lieutenant right. is That's concerned right. about the lost the gun camp. and feels that the fact you haven't prioritized looking for it is unfortunate, if inevitable, and doesn't put the RCM in a good light. What would you rather me have, Kim? <sighs> Go back to the corrupt lifestyle of the Harry that is dead? Excellent, Mr. Kitsuragi. Oh, shit. That's excellent news. Oh, no, it doesn't Looks like we God have a friendly gun-finding competition on our hands. Okay, no, he's saying that we're... No, I, I'm not deprioritize it, Cam. I just don't want to be blackmailed, man. We'll do it. We'll take care of it. I should have said that's the middle one. Keep the fucking gun. Whatever. I want to talk about the hanging. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin A's. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to help like I'm helping you with your lost gun. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. <laughs> is there a butt? But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. Oh. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean... If we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. Okay. Keeps going but I it. can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. 
What You're is it? police officers, aren't yes. you? Yes. I have a crazy idea. Yeah. You guys are basically door opening machines. Door opening machines. Incredibly talented at opening doors. I got it the first time, but I've opened a few doors in my life. <laughs> You've heard wrong, Everett. You're wrong. Kim, is that true? Are we door opening machines? Why do I have to do that? I have to do it because it sounds crazy. I feel like <laughs> Harry, Raphael, and Rose's Cousteau. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. Oh, I don't know. Shit. Okay, I'm not sure I understand. Neither if you're I. asking us to break down someone's door, it's oh, not going to happen. Shit. Come now. I just need you to go open a little door for me and leave it unlocked. A simple thing. Absolutely nothing shady about it. Oh no, is that not that in the north? The stars aligned into a cosmic frown here. No. He has your fate decided. Bide your time, however. And let the stars continue their course. Okay. And that okay. frown shall turn into a smile. <laughs> I, I only if you play along. Okay. Why don't you just open it yourself? Whose door is it? I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. What? His union men. Okay. Damn it. Fine. I'll look into it. We need to talk about the murder. Accept the task. Refuse the task for now. <laughs> for now. Ah, uh, damn. Whose door is it? Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel, weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. Why don't you just open it yourself? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You do look like you could run around physique. all day. I you want to send someone a message the that the police are working for you. Oh boy. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what will it be, Harry? What do you a mean, loud, weasel? blabbering weasel. Mm. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. Oh no. Just go there, unlock the door, oh, and leave no. it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so oh, I can discuss no. business with you. <laughs> oh no, Kim. <laughs> I don't want to do this, Kim. I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. Harry, my dear friend, I oh, am I what people call a local out. bigwig. Yeah. I know everything that goes on in Martinez. Fuck. Oh fuck. Kim, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't I don't know. Wait, I don't have to do it. I can accept the task but not do it. Fuck. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done and we can take our friendship to the next level. Ah, uh, damn it. You get the key from Manana. He's down by Manana, the gates. yeah. Manana's like a free agent in the union. Okay. Special operations. Hardened socialist. A real free thinker too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. One last thing, Harry. <sighs> just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked weasel. door. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. I don't trust you. I, I don't think so. Aren't you going to ask me about how I got in? I wanted to go over a couple things. I met Joyce, the company representative. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. I haven't gotten around to her yet. I'm very, very busy, you see. Yeah, I, I see. You're I hope busy. you're getting along. One thing I want to make very clear, Harry, is that this is not some kind of union versus corporation situation. Okay. Everyone is just pals here. Are, are We're all pals? trying to do what's best for Martin Ace. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like you can't cooperate with her because you and I are such good friends and I'm helping you find your lost gun. <sighs> I'm not a jealous guy. <clears throat> Whoa, that's so nice of him. Suspiciously <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, suggestion. Are you sure? I find it a little odd. What happened to the previous negotiator, Mr. Germont? Joyce said the previous union leader vanished under suspicious circumstances. Everett, Joyce seems to think the union is lowballing her. And then why haven't you let her in to see you? I don't know. Whoa, well, suspiciously nice. Are you sure? I find it a little odd. I can just, uh, what happened to the previous What do one? you mean, Harry? Nothing. I let him go. He made concessions for the company in previous negotiations. Why would you let an ally like that go? He's an old man, Harry. I wanted him to spend more time with his family. God knows how long he's got left. God knows. You call him a midget. 
Harry, I have little people in my organisation. I would never call someone a midget. Uh, what is this? Honestly, I'm beginning to think you're a midget, Harry. How do I I'm know only that, kidding, Where did I get Harry. That information you're from? not a midget. What no one is. We're Excuse pals. You, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. God damn it. Are you sure? Not I'm a just a nice guy, Harry. I wouldn't be where I am now if I wasn't nice. Uh, Politics is all about emotions, and I want you to have positive emotions when you think of me. Joyce said the previous union leader vanished under suspicious vanished? circumstances. Harry, vanished. Harry, a woman left her casserole in the oven and couldn't make it here in time for the voting. Wait. Oh, did I leave my casserole on? Better go home and check. The election what? can wait. When she got back, the whole thing was over. What? Wait, there was no mention of a casserole from Joyce. <laughs> Wait, funny, Joyce didn't mention a casserole. Harry, Harry, Harry. Story, story, story. little matter. Maybe it was a rabbit stew, or a hairdryer, or an iron. Mm. The point is, her heart wasn't in it. Mine was. That much is true. His heart truly is in it. Though you wouldn't think so by looking at him. Challenging success right there, though. Damn. If it's spilled blood you're looking for, then there certainly isn't any in his expression or okay. demeanor now. Choice seems to think the union is lowballing her. Yes, yes. Lowballing, of course. This isn't a casino, Harry. Real people, real livelihoods are at stake here. But everything's a casino for those rich types. Mm. His expression makes it clear. This is childish and irresponsible behavior. Why haven't you let her into If see she you? actually wants to see me, she will find a way. Any good negotiator would. And I just mm. don't have anything to discuss with a bad negotiator. He doesn't want to see her. It's as simple as that. Mm. Okay, let's of talk course, about Harry. Else. Let me just assure you one more time. It's perfectly okay to share anything we discuss here with this Joyce. This is a completely transparent organization. Oh, I have no interest in what she is doing, this. but I myself have dynamic. nothing to hide. Your business is your business, and Ooh. I respect your privacy. Just remember. No, you don't. You have a brown folder on me, bitch. Is secret. The fuck Tell is wrong with you? Tell her about all of it. My brother's picture, my singing swordfish clock. Tell her how overweight I am and how I'm helping you find your lost gun. Tell her about everything. <laughs> Everett doesn't mind. It is rather interesting to tell people things about each other, isn't it? It was nice telling him about her right now. <laughs> was it? Was it nice? Or was it, I don't know what the game is messing with me, man. I just finished investigating the local drug. I think that one already hit a wall. Aren't you going to ask me about how I got it? Harry, in? honestly, I'm just relieved you didn't get a hernia. A man <laughs> <Wait>. your age. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's totally fine. I'm a healthy man. Man, my age, what are you two implying? I'm at the peak of my abilities. Hmm. I'm not. You did look like you were gonna collapse and die when I told you about your lost gun. What? No, that was just a little bit anyway, of panic. Anyway, I assure you, I am a very well-informed man. Information reaches me before I even get the chance to request it. Uh, oh, God. I'm gonna talk with the drug trade again. Ah, uh, yes. Your side investigation. <laughs> Thank you. You've got some spirit clearing up phony drug accusations alongside oh, this, this is murder. Completely different, I'll talk to the mayor and see if I can get you the key to the city, Harry. <laughs> you now fucking let's talk real sarcastic business. Bitch, stop. Not even a speck of anger in his voice. That's <laughs> that then. <sighs> Fine. Go let's over hear it, Harry. Me. Okay, no, that's not Of course, Harry. Matters. Of course. Let's Although, not linger on per. Wait, let's are hear you it, me Harry. There's something else in here that's already blackened out, but I can actually go back into it. Not blackened out. It's turned off. Where'd you get this folder? What kind of cops is Sam? Why, why can't I go back into these? What's my full name? Where'd you get oh, this folder? This. I find. I'm afraid this is meant for I'm union eyes only, animal. Mr. Kitsuragi. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, Harry. It feels like Wait. it's going to loop there. You need this to get in and out through the here. gate. Jesus. Ah, thanks. I was wondering how I'm supposed to get out. Uh, great. Wouldn't want to get stuck here. That's true. That's that's true. Yeah, you're Just one of us now. Through, but like, how do a I... real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Come on, cart. Yeah. Let's see. Where does this one go? Confront Hardy Boys about the drug trade. I mean, I guess. 
sounds dangerous, but chat novelty check. Okay, sorry, I wasn't reading out loud there. This 20 centimeter check looks like it's meant to be handed over ceremoniously on a gal like event. I suppose uh, it supposedly exchanges for 25 real at the local freight store. Below the number, a careful hand has written the words constable's rent. All of it. Note worthless in a pawn shop. <sighs> okay. All right, well, uh, that did me some damage. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can sleep off that damage so I don't have to waste money trying to uh, correct it. Why am I not able, why are you walking that way when I click here? Wait, what? Oh, that's what I mean. I thought I could just walk through here, but no. Can I steal anything from him? I'm, way out. I'm on my way out. <laughs> there are other places I could go. There was like another door to the side there. What time is it in the game? It is 3.47. 347. Now we have, um, there's this thing right here, which I'm going to try one more time. Although I'm not sure why it would just be here. Or we could grab something. I just don't remember. I don't know. It's locked. I don't know. Maybe it depends on a silent skill check going on. All right. We have this thing here. I can't get into it or anything like that. So I don't think it's getting it. I think it's like a drop off. It's moving it. Why would I move it? That's the thing. Well, I guess I'm gonna fuck around and find out. Let's just do it. See what happens. Oh, and then we're gonna with go with a loud up. grind. The crane shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container through the air. really dangerous though and with a surprisingly quiet thunk the crane places the container down oh man there's nothing on that side of it it's gonna fall this crane was built with a purpose which has now been fulfilled <laughs> to move this container why would i do this let's get back to the panel what's inside who the can say all you know is it's special what? i can't see how that was worth the records except for seeing the crane in action Yes. Which I admit was satisfying. Yes, yes. The crane does not return to its original position. Okay. So that's it then, huh? I just got to... I don't know what the hell that was for, but hey! RPGs! Yay! Let's go mysteriously look into something. Before you Fuck stands you. Oh. a cargo container. Okay, say before you do just this, one of many thing. in the yard. Yeah? Yeah, but it's special. <sighs> Is this like your thing with that wall again? It's a gut feeling, yes, man. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's maybe. I can't tell. I think we should investigate it further. Because Why there not? are a million containers here. Yeah, but this one we can interact with. On this one? Hapro, listen, you gotta trust me. It was just, it was hanging from a crane. <laughs> I don't know, Kim. It just feels special to inspect the container. Maybe there's contraband in there. It feels special. It's a cargo container, detective. Just like all the other. We are not, not here to interact with containers. Something. We are here to talk to the Union, right? Listen, no what reply. If... The knot produces a hollow ring of metal. Kim, you doesn't sound like you'll this see. I'm right. Open the door. You attempt to turn the handle to no avail. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. Erratic and thorough. I've been in the world for two days. Oh no, <laughs> rhetoric. No, no, this is terrible. Impossible persuade. I no, I can't do it. We'll come back. Rhetoric. Shit. Whatever. Kim, you'll see. There's gonna be something of value in there. It's gonna make all the sense. Oh shit! Did I just block our way out of here? No way did I. Hold on. Stop. Why am I so confused with the controls all of a sudden? Here, T. Fine. Fine. Ah. <sighs> Not today, Kim. Not to, Kim, one day I will know how to maneuver. Why am I not allowed to go down? Just go down. Go down. Go down the stairs. Go down. I'm stuck. Oh, no. I think I've done something terrible. Oh, I can't go down? Go down. Why? What? Oh, wow. Never mind. 
up here, up. Uh, I guess we're not doing anything with that. No measure, I can go fuck himself. We're gonna go up here. Oh, let's find out there. We are gonna go to this side. And we got money. Money, 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 money. Bottles, so many bottles. Ooh, cigarettes. Oh no. Oh, hello. Wait, can I not? I've got the bag out. What are you talking about? Crap, the fucking bottle. <laughs> there you go. Look at all the bottles. It's money, Kim. I need all the money I can get. What do you mean? I don't take the rest. Oh my god, I really can't take all these bottles. <gasps> got all the bottles. What is this this is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads okay. Rene Arnaud. So this is where Rene works. I'm gonna look around. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. Should I come in? Eh? The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. Take the it's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man, Rene, is dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. The girl is young and very pretty. She is smiling playfully at the camera. Rene looks like he's about to smile. This photo must be tied to some good memories. Why did hey. you take that picture of Rene? It's a gut feeling, Kim. I'm gonna ask him about it. I'm a cop. It's instinctual to collect evidence. I'm making an artistic photo collage, Kim. Stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna ask him about it. I'm a cop. It's instinctual to collect evidence. I. Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen. So no. uh, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. This is, is the else? night watch. Leave. All right. You never know. You never know. It's the Hemdala shirt. It's chaos. Told me to do it. Can I read this thing? I can't go down here. Go with this one. Shit. There's still places. I don't know how to go to. All right. We don't want to be seen here. I get it. Maybe I should have come at night. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm back in like uh, run as auto. Is the auto? Is it like a double click or something? No, because I can't get out of it after. I have to hold shift to go back into walk mode, so it's reversed on me again for some reason. Oh, it's all new place. Radio is emitting a strange buzzing sound. A giant ass print on the pillow. Give me armrest. We got this one. Someone is officially chilling next to the radio. Ah, suspicious. I see, because I jumped off of this thing. Right, right. And then we have this thing here. Um, let's see. Left Fume. Use interact button. I'll take that. Thank you. Just because I can. An Just imposing can. combination oh. of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. I needed a payphone. A note on the side says, Perfect. tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Why would I want to do this right now, though? Ten cents, though. I need to find out, right? The machine swallows your coin and seems to be waiting for your next move. Heard your name, long way home. Okay. Don't fail your this fingers one. run over the Thank dial you. pad. Zero it. zero five. <clears throat> That's the dialing code for Revershaw. Four nine five two, okay. and a moment of hesitation before entering the final numbers. I'm calling, I'm calling. Nine Am I calling nine her? three. Okay. Calling. Calling. Still calling, <gasps> then. <gasps> video Ravishal, 24 hour video rental. You rent 8 and 10 millimeter film for home use. This is Lamy, how may I help you? The voice of a youngster on the what other end sounds as enthusiastic as that of a man walking towards the gallows. What is this place? Video Ravishal, it's a 24 hour video rental. We rent 8 and 10 millimeter film for home use. This is Lamy. No, I, I meant, what is this place to me? Do you know me? Uh, why did I call you? Maybe you called to extend your rental period? Do you need to extend your rental period? <laughs> no, my name is Raphael. No, shit. Now I have to do something about the name. My name is Harry Dubois. Do you have anything on my name? Let me fire up the machine. I can't believe I just admitted that. Dubois. Dubois. It's what people are calling me. Maybe I got a twin out there or something. Here we are. You haven't rented Double anything in five years. But you still have a copy of Blue Ocean Hell from November 46. Whoa, not a fun film, that one. What kind of film is that? Uh, it's not an easy watch. After the death of his daughter and subsequent divorce, Ziemsk immigrant... 
Gidius Wojcik tries to come to terms with the onset of dementia. No wonder no one's been missing it. Still, it would be great if you could return it to us. We're on the corner of Voyager and Maine. On the corner of Voyager and Maine, okay. a large neon sign hangs on the side of a building. Voyager Video River Show, 24 yeah. hours. Huh? It's raining and there is almost no traffic on the streets. A woman's footprints in the mud lead away from the front door. What happened? Tiny heels tiptoeing down the road. Beautiful steps, light-footed, with a lifetime ahead of them. You look up, and the air seems to grow darker. Yeah. Suddenly, you feel like you don't want to hear about video rentals anymore. You don't want to hear about any of it. It was all shit. It's over. What is going on? <laughs> Kim, I feel sad about video revenge all 24 hours. What was all this shit? What, I gotta That's enough for you it. today. Let's conclude this call. Kim. Kim. What was all... What was all shit? It. Kim, I feel That's bad. That's enough for you today. Let's conclude this. What was it. all shit? Okay, fine, we're done. <laughs> That's so weird. Just yeah, no. Putting the pieces together. Putting the pieces together. Coffee machine, dark liquid, the pot looks sentient. That's great. The standard office fuck out. The doors seem to be locked. This is a Dewey typewriter. The model name is on the back. Every worker, member of the board, is written on the top of the flyers. And at the bottom, the union logo with the man dom democracy. All right. All right. <laughs> On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. It's, it's their fault. unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork laying around like this. I'm just investigating. Let's him. see what's inside. He thinks the drawer opens smoothly. Inside, Perhaps hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming into Revachol from the outside world, from Muindi, and the same materials being handed over to companies Before inside Revachol, Kuron, Coal City. There. Come on, anything it's interesting? hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and Look percentages. Deeper. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. Force yourself to go through the folders. Whatever's yes. hidden here is hidden yes. well. Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make sense of it. However, That's not there who I is am. a little handwritten note okay. stuck on the side of the drawer. Okay, look at the note. It appears to be a to-do list written uh -huh. in large, uneven capital letters. Okay. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes, special whirling borscht, water Everard's plants, Sweep office floor. More banners. So I pass the check. All board. items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. Turn to the lieutenant. Look, Kim. A to-do note with a list of errands for Everett. One of his aides must have left it. Leo. Nothing incriminating here. Leo. For Leo. I know from Leo for Leo. Take another look at. Remember, Leo. Everett's shoes. Special word. All items on the list have been crossed out. And the note itself is crumpled. The drawer slides shut. <laughs> that was so weird. Like, do you call him out on it after? Like, in talk or something? Maybe you talk about the list? And like, I don't know. So it was like a... Oh, hello. Dick it, dick it, dick it, dick it. I got a pair of glasses. With visual calculus. Exciting. And what? Negative one drama. Fuck the drama. Yeah! <laughs> Okie dokie. The leading intellectual or uh, organ of Martinique communism offers a radical Mazovian perspective on the range of contemporary issues. The cover features a stylized portrait of the king, Frizzell, with a pair of white antlers growing out of his head. Well, I got visual calculus. We could do some more visual calculus. Let's get on out of here. What time is it? 4.38. $16.83. So I don't need to go and fuck with this guy 
anymore, but I could. But I could. I don't need to though. Wait, what else is he protecting behind him here? Is there something behind him? What oh, is this thing right here? You're right. Let's check the clothing. I want to try and find equipment or something that increases the my ability to take this bitch out. I just want to punch him now. 